Hi, good evening. Namaste. We're here with Heather McCarroll in the Trusty Perennials Department of Humber Nurseries, Ontario's largest garden center. And we have two fine specimens here of Matuchia struthiopteris, aka the ostrich fern, and Monarda fistulosa, aka wild bergamot. And we're here to tell you some interesting facts about these two plants and one other surprise plant that we're going to show you guys. So, this is the ostrich fern. It can be found all over North America. Well, I shouldn't say all over. In um, forested areas of North America, etc. Not non-desert territories. And basically, this is a wonderful plant for many reasons, of course, because it's beautiful looks and oxygen atmosphere enhancing properties very swell and basically the ostrich fern is an edible species of plant now however there are some things you may want to know about eating this plant before you decide to indulge in its wonderful feast of goodness so you cannot eat the full-grown ostrich leaves because they are actually toxic once they are full-grown and unraveled Unfortunately, it is late in the season, and we do not have any new ostrich ferns growing right now, so we cannot find any of the fiddleheads that actually are edible. But to describe what a fiddlehead looks like, Heather, take it away. A fiddlehead curls around, and it's very twisty, almost crumpled, but not as has appeared here. Yes. Basically, a fiddlehead is just a stalk coming out of the ground and then exactly like the end of a fiddle and looks wonderful. So, yes, you can fry them with butter and make many delicious, good tasting things out of them. And one other thing to note about picking fiddleheads, of course, which you do in early spring around April to late May, is if you're picking them from areas of soil which may be contaminated it is not a good idea to eat them in case you get the toxins in your body so that concludes our beautiful uh, description of this wonderful plant called ostrich fern which you can find in a local southern Ontario forest near you now this is wild bergamot it has many medicinal properties which I won't get into detail in this specific video or perhaps for a later date but one of the main qualities of this wonderful plant as you can see the flowers there is that you can make a delicious tea yes out of this wonderful plant it grows I'd say about yay high and pretty much a name of it is also called bee bomb because bees absolutely love this plant. So if you are looking for a wonderful plant to get tea out of and to have wonderful pollinating insects around your house, please use this wonderful native plant called wild bergamot. This is a non-domesticated version of this plant which is wonderful. Also the ostrich fern you can plant under shade loving areas in your house where other plants may not grow. This is full sun. Okay, so on to the surprise. On to our surprise plants. We have the Golden Lantern. Also called Fisalis Alcageni var and the variety is Franchetti. Franchetti. Sweet. And it is also called Japanese or Chinese lantern as far as I have heard. Now Heather is going to demonstrate for us, or we can both demonstrate, let's both demonstrate. These are the lanterns which look exactly like paper lanterns. They have a wonderful texture to them. Heather, would you take this? Perfect. Now, if you peel open these little thingamaboobers in here, you will see this wonderful little berry, which is very edible, and I believe it is called a kumquad, if I'm not mistaken, or is that something else? I do believe it's something else. Okay, well I have heard of that name being used for this thing. A peculiar name, but delicious nonetheless. Slightly bitter taste, but we'll find out. The riper they are, of course, the more sweeter they are. So let's give a little demonstration. 
Mmm. Sweet and tart. Slightly bitter. Absolutely charming and nutritious. But do you recommend this for salads? You could use it in a salad. I would say so myself. If that makes sense. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, we also have another lovely Humber employee. Very knowledgeable. Yeah, they're edible. They're yes. Good. Don't ever buy that plant. What? It spreads plant like crazy. Oh, yes. Oh. They're a very wild spreader. I have these in my garden at my house. And uh, yeah. How I found out that these were edible was that my dad had some construction workers come over to my house one day. And then when we came home, all our lanterns were open and missing. And we found out that that's how they're edible. Because the construction worker told us that they're edible and delicious. So, this concludes our Humber tour for now. Please stay tuned for more delicious facts on the wonderful perennial section. And stay tuned for other sections which we have in store for a later date. Come visit Humber Nurseries for a great time. Thank you.